Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksweb.com with a video review of Microsoft Office 2010 Beta. You can download this for free, I'll provide the link in the description. Simply click get it now and then click get it now again and you should be able to download it. Now I must clarify that I'm not a big user of Office at all, I've just done some basic work on 2003, 2007. I wasn't a fan of 2007, so I've been using 2003. And so I'm going to show you the basic things, Word, PowerPoint, Outlook and Excel because I think those are the programs that will probably be used mostly. So here they are, as you can see, 2010 beta. Now all the things that I show in this are subject to change because obviously it's a beta version and this is from the point of view of someone who doesn't use it much. The extra apps you can get are Access, InfoPath, OneNote, Publisher and SharePoint and you also have some tools here as well if you need to use them. This send a smile is for the feedback so you can send them a happy smiley or a sad smiley. So let's go ahead and start uh, Word 2010. Straight away, this is uh, the first time I've launched it, straight away I've noticed that I hate it already, that it's so bright. I use black themes and I like dark themes, so straight away I'm going to go to File, and then Options, and then I'm going to go to Color Scheme, and then Black. And then hopefully that'll look a lot better, yes it does. So you can see it looks much better on dark themes, so if you have a dark theme like me, I recommend you do that. Now I've noticed that the theme is actually mixed quite nicely in with Office, so I assume if you're using Aero or anything like that, it should have a nice little effect there. I've also noticed that we still have this nice ribbon here. I'm not a big fan of this. Again, this is only my opinion. I'm a big fan of going to file and then having a long list of things going down of what I can choose. With this, I actually have to look across and try and find things as they're all sort of grouped together. I did like the fact that there were toolbars before, but they've all seemed to go on. But you can actually minimize this if I just try and well, there we go. Minimize the ribbon. So this would be useful for netbooks, which have limited space. You can simply do that as well. And then I'll just untick that if I wish. I do like this little quick toolbar thing at the top. Simply click that and you can add your own little icons there. I recommend doing quick print. So if you ever need to type something out, quickly print it out, then it's useful to do that. I've noticed on the bottom right, we still have that little real time zooming facility, which is quite nice. You've got your different views here. And that's full screened it, sorry about that. And we also can do uh, a web layout as well if we wish. And we have a word count down here before you used to have it in a little uh, toolbar entry. You can actually have it here counting as you go. So nice stuff. If I just follow you through, we've got insert. We go all the stuff you can insert. Page layout. You can pause this if you want and see all the options. Reference. You can also download this for yourself anyway. Mailings. Review. And view. Another thing I've noticed when I clicked File is that it's actually taken up the whole document now. Before, you used to just do it, you File New and then it would just still have everything there, but this has just taken up the whole lot. And I've also noticed if you want to go to File New, it's all the way down here now. I'm used to doing it right at the top on everything I use. It's actually broken that now, it's all the way down here. So, Info, Recent, New, Print, Share and Help. So, they've definitely revamped the UI, not so much from 2007 which I wasn't a big fan of anyway, like I say, but this is Microsoft Word uh, 2010. So if you like that, then go ahead and try that out. Next one, PowerPoint 2010. This, uh, again, is using the same theme because the theme, theme is applied system-wide, so that's pretty cool. Now, it looks very much the same as PowerPoint would look. It looks quite easy to use. News, slide. One, well, I like the uh, smoothed out fonts there. Uh, this is is my slide. I like by default how it's greyed it out as well. Bear in mind this is a, pretty much the first time I launched it. So if I want to insert a new slide, I go to insert. Oh no, it's not there. It's actually there. New slide. <laughs> you would have thought I'd have put it in insert, but hey, there you go. New slide. And also I assume you can right click this. Yeah, new slide. Duplicate slide. So this is again, I haven't really dabbed with this. I haven't done too many presentations in my college uh, lifetime to be honest. I've done a few, but I did them all in 2003. So again, insert, design, Transition, do we have a lot of transitions? Yes, we do. Oh, and that's a nice thing as well. They do it in real time as well. They look quite quite professional, I think. Yeah, yeah, you can change, there we go. Quite slow as well, but you can change the duration of those on the right-hand side, I've just noticed, so yeah, quite nice. So you can customize this as much as you want. Animations, fly in up here, blah, blah, blah. These are the certain things you do actually on the slide itself, so I'd need to add an object to show you that. Slideshow. You can see we've got all these different options here. Resolution, that's quite cool. You can change that if you wish. Review, you want to review things, and view. I apologize, this isn't really showing that much. It's just showing you everything that we've got here. And again, file takes over everything. You get a nice little thing here. This is all subject to change. Again, no view, recent, new. You can do all these things here. You can actually create calendars, but I assume this is just all templates, and I assume this will open up in other things. So print, share, help. 
have a look at the print printer, print or slides, pretty cool. They kind of made it look like tried to make it easy to use, but they've done it so it looks like it's it still looks over complicated in my opinion. So anyway, Office 2010. Now I had to quickly start this up so it didn't have email support, so I just quickly ran through the wood. But it looks all right, I guess. <laughs> Again, big fan of uh, like I like the fact that we've got this bit here. Although it may be my theme is screwing this little bit up here, or because it's a beta that you can actually just simply do that and have all your work in the middle. Again, we have this ribbon, send receive, and you can send receive a bunch of things, folder, and view. I like the way they've grouped it. I just rather like having it all on one bit where you could have toolbars. I uh, don't mean to complain or anything, but just showing you how it works. Again, we've got that real time thing down here. So it's kind of kept, it has kept consistent across its applications. You can also do RSS feeds as well. Again, click on that file, gets rid of everything. File, uh, info, open, print, and help. So the last thing, Excel. First time I launched this. And again, same consistent feel. If you are a newbie to Office, I'd say that this is quite good to do. If you want to say, well, I want to insert a table, you click insert and there's a table so yeah it's quite nice so again you can change everything here now it says I'm highlighting over the, everything it's got a little outline around them and you know standard stuff create your graphs if you want to and create all your formulas in there it's got home insert page layout formulas quite a lot of formulas here I suppose this will help you quite a lot if you're um, a big user of Excel and need to know I like the way they've grouped them together actually Usually you'd have to go to the help file and figure out what each one does. Recently used as well, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, data, review, and view. So yeah, uh, I can't really show you anything else because that's pretty much what it is. Um, I would show you the other applications, but I don't really dab into them too much. So I'm just simply showing you the application itself, what you can see. You can download this for yourself for free anyway. So go ahead and try it for yourself. If you have your own opinions on this, then feel free. I was just simply demonstrating the application. If I was to give it a rating, I'd say based on the fact that it looks a lot like 2007 and as far as I could see from the site, if you go onto each of those things again, showing what's new, all I can see is um, just very simple stuff. There's no nothing radical there. And the, the UI, although it's nice, it's not... A big fan in my opinion so I'm gonna give this a 6.5 out of 10 I'm sorry folks I would rather use open office Google Docs or even office 2003 so thanks for watching my video if you have your own opinion please leave a comment in the description if you want to review any of these other things feel free to leave a video response to this or if you have your own opinion again leave a video response so that's about it really thanks for watching this video check out more reviews dunksweb.com forward slash reviews and thanks again